are you doing, Kirsten? Good, how are you? Doing well. Now, this movie deals with really going against conformity, right? In your own life, how do you feel like you do this every day? I feel like that's your goal as an actor. Or for me, anyway. For me, I would like, you know, to always do films that, you know, push boundaries. And for me as an actress, to do things that are out of my comfort zone. And, and so I think that I try to do that creatively in my work. Now, aside from acting, you're also known for your singing abilities. And there are several other what? actors in this movie who are, who are great singers. Was there a lot of singing going on on set? There was, actually. Yeah, I mean, Garrett was sort of singing his country and western. I mean, and my finger, my finger's not really on the pulse of what the youth of today are listening to, but uh, I did learn the words to a Miley Cyrus song, which uh, what are you? they've gone now. But, um, you know, I, I let them do the singing so that I didn't make them feel too bad when I really let rip. Oh, what a world, what a life. I'm in love. Aside from acting, you are very multidimensional. Many people may not realize what a good singer you are. Oh, thank you. Are we going to see an album coming up anytime soon? Probably not an album, but I would do a musical movie. That would be fun. So we wouldn't see a hot single on iTunes anytime? It's definitely not. No, it's not my vibe. Some people tell me that you were belting out some country tunes behind the scenes. Really? That's what I've heard. Maybe, maybe here and there. I pretty much stopped it. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't really play along the journey. It was kind of funny because uh, Terrence Howard came on board when we were filming in Montreal, and he came to my room and he said, "Man, Garrett, where's your guitar?" And I said, "Well, you know, Dean doesn't play guitar. It's more jazz. You know, it's all this." He's like, "Well, Dean doesn't, but Garrett does." <laughs> and, uh, so, I, yeah, I didn't play that much. You look much, much younger than 32, you know that. I'm very nearly 33, and thank you very much Look for at saying. that. Well, what is the secret to this youthful glow? I bathe in German beer. Just rub it all over. And, yeah, and drink it. Figures. It works. Well, as you can see, I'm not it's even wearing any makeup. Glowing. Now, you grew up on a cattle farm. If you weren't an actor, do you ever consider actually staying on the farm and working with cattle? That's all I... Uh, really dreamed of was working on the assembly line, wearing the earplugs and the goggles. Really? Yeah. So th things turned out a little differently. Mm -hmm. To the old man. Yeah. To the good, old, dead, demented men we love. And to the West. We are in the holiday season and people are giving gifts. What is the strangest gift? that you've ever received? I mean, my mom's friends pull out some weird stuff. They'll get me like a matching purse and like weird scrunchie and- Scrunchie? Mirror and I'm like, do they know how old I am at this point? <laughs> not, I mean, it's not a script, but like a weird like hair thing or- I'm like, this is That like could work a little child. coordinating situation. They give me child gifts sometimes, <laughs> so they're weird. <laughs> or like lots of like angel things or, you know what I mean? I was like, that's when I was, you know, a little girl with my best friend. And yes, we did do angel cards, but I've moved on. Jesus, one that, one that I've gotten or one that I've given? You can go either way. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got a stuffed tiger once. It's kind of weird. It's weirder when you get it when you're 17. That's extremely weird. Yeah. <laughs>